Tomorrow is the day of retribution. The day in which I will have my revenge against humanity. When Elliot Roger filmed this video, he was preparing for one of the most disturbing mass murders in American history. I'm 22 years old and I'm still a virgin. I've never even kissed a girl. He shot, stabbed and mowed people down with his car, killing six before shooting himself in the head. He was part of a growing online community of men with a deep-rooted hatred of women. You girls have never been attracted to me. I don't know why you girls aren't attracted to me, but I will punish you all for it. He described himself as an incel, someone who is involuntarily celibate. Earlier this year, 25-year-old student Alec Manassian was arrested after a rented vehicle ploughed into a crowd of people. He was charged with 10 counts of premeditated murder and 16 of attempted murder. The victims were predominantly women. Online posts showed Alec Manassian regarded Elliot Roger as a hero of the incel community. The incel rebellion has already begun. All hail the supreme gentleman Elliot Roger. Violent, misogynistic attacks at the hands of incels are clearly an issue in North America. But how worried should we be about the incel community here in Britain? For the past four years, I've been researching the incel movement. It is an extremely secretive community. One 30-year-old incel agreed to speak to me, but cancelled when he discovered I'm a feminist and had written an article about the Me Too campaign. He wrote, Women exist in a bizarre and unnatural position within Western society, where their viewpoints are given equal weighting with male opinions. This is not tenable and will lead to social collapse. Those who did speak to me were only prepared to do so if we protected their identities and changed their voices. James is 19 years old. He lives in Wigan. I found him on Reddit. He spoke to me from his childhood bedroom. I'm an involuntarily celibate person. I have not had sex and I want to. Incels correspond anonymously online using forums. They see themselves as victims who have been wronged by women because of the way they look. They accuse them of denying them sex. The most extreme incels support rape. The most extreme incels have murdered people. But most people, normal people, like the wider world, probably see it as very toxic, very misogynistic and very violent. I just don't possess any of those traits but I 100% understand how all these comments and all that toxic behaviour comes from. Really? Even the violent stuff? Well, yes, because it is nothing new, really. I always say that most incels are just sad, lonely, depressed people. I am a sad, lonely, depressed person, but the difference between me and them is that I internalise all my thoughts. I don't externalise it. The forums make for pretty grim reading. Some simply say derogatory and negative things about women. Others seem angrier, insisting women are to blame for their problems, while some are entirely disturbing, advocating rape and violence against women. These forums could help men act cruelly to the women in their lives. Do not worry about that. Um, sure, I guess so. Uh, I guess so, but how? I mean, the only woman in my life is my mum, and I can never imagine doing anything to hurt her. Jacob Davey researches misogynistic online spaces and says the environment just becomes an echo chamber. These communities are in many ways mutually self-reinforcing. People will go there to find a support structure. The issue is here though that uh, there often isn't positive alternatives. There aren't people presenting a countermeasure and as a result the only things that people are here, the only conversations they're engaging with are the intrinsically harmful ones. It's hard to know just how many incels there are in the UK. An internal survey of 300 forum members found 40% were from Europe, 52% were white. And according to the survey, the majority of users are teenagers and men in their 20s. Only 9.9% .9 were older than 30. It's difficult to quantify precisely how many incels there are because they are online communities and they're often anonymous. I would say that there are several thousand incels. And mental health issues seem prevalent. Would you say you are suffering with depression? Yes, very strongly. I have no actual friends, no close relationships, what you would define a friend. I don't go out. It's not hard to understand how so many depressed males get angry and spiteful. 
it is not complicated to understand how disgusting misogynistic thoughts about rape come about. When you're in a condition of not being able to like yourself and living in a society that feels like it's against you, it can produce a whole lot of uh, consequences for mental health. Um, depression and anxiety, um, eating disorders, body dysmorphia, um, negative self-talk, um, and generally the, the development of a belief system that um, it just can't happen for you, which can ultimately be quite self-defeating. Is it just about sex? It is 100% sex. If you're a handsome guy, you can be an awful person and you still get to have sex. But women don't need to have a personality to get sex. Incels are the only people in the world that actually have to be good people. Given the secretive nature of the incel community, they've developed their own language. Attractive men who have sex with lots of women are called chads, and the attractive women they sleep with are Stacys. The forums are full of crude cartoons of what these people look like. Chads are always shown with bulging muscles, a defined jawline, and a pronounced crotch. Stacys are beautiful but shallow, and most importantly, unattainable to incels. Have you tried to meet someone? Tinder doesn't work. I've tried it multiple times and it just doesn't work. Women don't match with me. Also, most incels aren't good people. I have a bad personality. At best, I'm the most boring person in the room. At worst, I'm a spiteful, hateful human being. It takes all I can to suppress that. Sean also uses Reddit. He is 21 years old, a student, and lives in London. He says he's an incel because he's facially unattractive, and at five foot one, he describes himself as a manlet, the incel term for a short man. In the forums, the issue of height comes up repeatedly. He said at school he was bullied for being Asian and short. He was suspended for a week for pulling a knife on a boy who was beating him up. I don't regret the incident because he backed off me ever since. Incels aren't all bad. They're driven from loneliness to depression to hatred. We have this thing called the online disinhibition effect, which means that people are more likely to say things online than they are face to face. So I think some of the things that people will be worried about looking at these sites are are kind of inflated in a sense. I don't think it's necessarily representative of what's going on, but it is representative of very real concerns and real feelings. And I think if there's anything to be particularly worried about, it's the, the people themselves who are expressing this darkness, um, whether they're at a suicide risk or whether they're at a self-harm risk. Society changed to put down incels and changed to raise up women. And I think that is a good thing. Incels are the byproduct of that change, and you know, I don't want to seem like some sort of martyr figure. The fact that incels exist is a minimal good evil to the fact that many women in this world are in the position that they are in. I think that that's quite a common talking point amongst incels. I think that as society progresses, there will be people who feel left out. I don't think that that should validate the movement or validate their worldviews. Ben is the youngest incel I spoke to. He's only 16 years old. Ben says he doesn't condone violence, but the Toronto attack was a wake-up call. Things like that will happen more unless people address the actual thoughts. Special rights need to be stopped given to women. It's particularly bad in Western culture, where we cultivate the evil side of female nature. Lying, disrespectfulness, narcissism. I first learned about the female nature from the website Men Go In Their Own Way, and it changed my life for the better. There are very few resources uh, allocated to fighting online crime, and particularly antisocial behaviour that is being committed on the internet. The overarching ideology of the incel community is called Black Pill. In the film The Matrix, the protagonist Neo chooses either the red pill to know the truth about reality, or the blue pill, which is blissful ignorance. In the incel world, if you've taken the red pill, you wake up. You know what they say is the truth about women, that they are shallow and disloyal and can be manipulated into sex. But going further than this, take the black pill means you know women only care about looks, and thus life is meaningless. I've had 10, maybe 20 conversations with people of my family in a year. So your one conversation with me, even this conversation we are having now, is a huge nerve-wracking part of my life. To you, this is your job. You'll brush this away, but I'm going to be thinking about this in the months from now. Speaking to James, it wasn't hard to feel overwhelming sympathy for him. He is clearly incredibly lonely and depressed. But other things he and other insults said alarmed me. They were quick to anger, and it isn't hard to see how this online community, which claims to be a support group, becomes darker, manipulating young, often vulnerable individuals in an almost cult-like way. I'm going to be thinking about the fact that I talked to a girl. You're going to be whirling around my brain. For me, 
You're an important part of my year, of my life.